Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be looking at the Bitcoin chart and we're going to be going over a little bit above technical analysis in today's video. We're going to be primarily focusing on these psychology and emotions that run through the market and how these influence greatly the decisions taken and the reasons, primary reasons in my opinion, why people are making money while others are losing everything. Okay, it's all driven by this psychological effect that the market has on us. So I'd like to dive a little bit deeper into that today. So I think you will find this video really enjoyable. Wasn't planning to do a video at all today and I just had a calling. I just felt as if I really should make this video simply because I truly believe it will help you out. Uh, no other motive, no other reason, that's it. So I hope that you probably enjoy it. I do, <laughs> I do hope it's helpful. Um, otherwise I've wasted my time. <laughs> so. Let me know if you enjoy this one or not once you've finished watching it. That's all I ask. Thank you ever so much and let's begin. So, um, yeah, I want to focus on the Bitcoin obviously rise here. Okay, focus on the little bit of the Bitcoin rise, obviously seeing a bit of a pullback now and, you know, the emotions that have been driven in and around this obviously all stemmed from the very large decrease in price that we had on the weekend, you know, coming down nearly 30% very, very, very quickly. Um, you know, what's, what is the emotional impact that this has on the majority of people? Well, I think we can just look at a standardization such as the, the amount of liquidations that happens on the drop. You know, we are seeing, you know, millions and millions and millions in liquidations, e.g. a lot of people have got wrecked. Obviously, this is a zero sum game for all those people that got liquidated. And, you know, if we, group them together, millions have been lost. On the other hand of the table, or the other side of the coins, millions have made money. So for every one loss, there is one win. So it's just it's just the name of the game. It's the, it's the cycle of the market, yeah? People that are over leveraged, people that are not prepared for downside, when downside comes, they lose their money. People that are short, people that are prepared for downside make money. And it's the same here. People that have then shorted the lows, well, they are losing money and the people that have long the lows are making money. So it's a continuous, you know, movement of money from the well-prepared to the ill-prepared, um, you know, and it's the same cycle over and over and over and over and over again in the markets, okay? And what is it that gets into people's heads that makes them really bullish up the highs to be longing into resistances and then get liquidated on drops to then not only days later, shorting at the lows in fear of price going lower only for price to rise and then get liquidated on the rise so they are very emotional and bullish up at every single high and when price drops they lose that bullish bias they flip bearish and they're then shorting the lows what is this that makes people do this time and time and time again it is the emotional impact of the market 100 percent this is why at Chart Champions, we have such a focus and emphasis on the emotional side of trading because we we totally understand this is such a crucial major part of what separates the successful to the unsuccessful, the profitable, <laughs> the profitable traders to the liquidated traders. It all comes down to the emotional impact on the market and, of course, down to the trading plan because you remove those emotions by having a good plan. OK, so that was a little bit of the intro. Now we're obviously talking about what happened here. So I want to focus on yesterday, OK, in particular. I was personally waiting for a long down and around the point of control to the low of the range. What happened in the end? Well, you know, price did actually find support off the CC. We never lost it. We come down to the CC, taken from low to high. We find support and price rises. OK, E.g., I missed this long trade, okay? I, I did not take the long trade here because really simply my plan was to long lower, okay? And this is where a lot of people are going to get, you know, emotions ridden into them, you know, overcome by fear, overcome by all these different type of things. I really simply had a plan. I want to long the BOC slash the range low. This is where I was willing to get involved. This is where I was willing to trade. What happened is price front run my entry essentially, okay, found support off of the CC and started to make its way up. Well, in this situation, I have two things I can do. I can either look for another setup higher up, okay, acknowledging, hey, my plan was to long lower, but if I've seen something in the market that makes me think, 
price is actually no longer likely to go lower. I have two options. Option number one is look for a entry higher up the chart, which still requires a technical plan and confluence. But I have option number one long a little bit higher up. Option number two, remain patient, set out of the market until a much better, you know, plan comes to my mind, something better in the charts. I have some more data, I have some more statistics gathered here that says to me, hey, you know, wait for a better trade. Okay, wait for a better trade. So you, the two options, if you get front run, for example, are look for a long aggressively higher up or number two, remain patient while that move up continues without you and then wait for a, a retracement that will come off the back of that move once it's topped out. Okay, those are the two options that we have. The, the option that it should not have, and which many people are going to do, is originally sit out of the market, see they've missed it, see it continue up, see it continue up, see it continue up, and then it just reaches the point of like, oh my God, I missed the bottom. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I just need to long, oh my God. Like, you know, the FOMO starts kicking in. Oh, I've missed, the, you know, you can, you can imagine it right now. Like people thinking right now, oh, I've missed the bottom. Oh, why did I get liquidated? Why did I sell at the lows? I should have bought more. Why was I not buying? Why was I not buying? I hate myself. I'm so depressed. Like this is the emotions that flow through the market. And this is no exaggeration. People will get like this and they'll end up buying up at the absolute high of the pump only for a retracement to occur. And then the cycle is continuing. They're buying the high of the bump, price retraces, they get liquidated, they start to sell at the lows once more. And the cycle repeats, they can put in as much money as they want, but until they understand the fundamental reasons why they're losing, it's going to continuously cycle. Okay, so, so this is something that occurred to me yesterday. It's not often that I miss a trade, to be honest with you, but I did miss that Bitcoin long yesterday. And I could have got involved a little bit higher, yes, but I was hand on heart absolutely totally fine with missing that bitcoin long because guess what ladies and gentlemen if you miss a trade you do not lose money if you fomo up into the highs and ret and price retraces you lose money okay if you make a bad trade you lose money so it is very important to not lose money that should be the number one focal four point of your attention on every single trade how do i not lose money on this trade OK, waking up in the middle of the night, looking at your phone for five minutes, seeing a green candle and buying is a recipe of disaster. And likewise, waking up, waking up, looking at your phone, seeing price down, thinking, oh, my God, I need to sell selling. That's a recipe for disaster. The only way you can avoid these recipes of disaster are honestly, it is by having a well thought through plan. It's by knowing the levels you want to trade. OK, so we have some levels marked out here. We have a CC level above us. OK, we have then a um, NPOC, you know, once again above us. And then it's, it's a matter of fact of just waiting for these levels to be hit. OK, we can monitor the reaction of these levels. It's like yesterday. I will show you one post that I made within the group. And that was this. OK, half past seven. I posted it would be really nice to break above fifty thousand dollars to clear some of the stop losses. OK, really simply, why was this? Well, there was a few reasons. First of all, we were making this like lower high structure. We were building a lot of liquidity above fifty thousand dollars. And there was just too many people shorting, too many people shorting. We could see this within the order flow. We could see this within the CVD. And of course, we could see this within the funding rate, which again, this morning is continuously, uh, you know, really quite negative at the moment. So this just lined up nicely to foresee we will be breaking $50,000. We are going to be pushing up here. OK, so the worst thing that I could have done yesterday was shorting. Why? Because there was an increased likelihood and probability that we were moving up. OK, so the worst thing that I could have done would have been to short at the lows. OK, obviously, I didn't leverage long, which I'm fine with. I'm comfortable with price moving up without being in a leverage long. The worst thing that I would have done, though, was short Bitcoin. Why? Because the probabilities where we were heading up. How do I know this? Well, I know this by doing my analysis, by making a plan based off of that analysis. And my thought process is, OK, if we break above, you know, I'm going to have an alert at $50,000 because I'm very certain that we'll be going above this level. And then I can base my trade off the reaction. If we go through $50,000, I will not take any more trades. If we had gone through $50,000 and back down below, I could have taken a short based off of a swing failure pattern would have been my preferred scenario, obviously a failed auction, which we could still get. But e.g., I've known the level that I want to trade. I've 
formulated a plan based off of what's actually happening on the charts. Not what I want, not what I'm saying, but what's actually happening. From that plan, I've recognized that we're going higher. From that, I've set an alert at $50,000, <laughs> excuse me, $50,000 of thinking to myself, okay, this is the next place I'll trade. And then I'll wait for the reaction. The reaction was price went straight through the level. So I do not take any short position. I went wait for, I wait for the next level to be trading. And again, I can do the exact same formula here. I've recognized an area of resistance being, you know, between 50, uh, let's just say $53,000 to $53,700, which is the CC that I've bought it. And then if we get through this, quite like 50K, let's just say we go straight through the level. Again, no trade can be taken. I can look towards my next level around $57,000, you see? So it's a simple case of looking at the chart, understand what's happening on the chart, understand the probability where price is going to next, formulate a plan of how you're going to get involved at that level, plan the trades, and then when it occurs, take the trade, okay? So you can start to see, yes, this is a, you know, a, a, you know, this is a video which we could talk about for 100 hours. I'm going to try and do it in less than 20 minutes. That would be a miracle <laughs> because my videos are notoriously long. But um, yeah, it, you know, briefly on a, on a, you know, very higher level overview of this, of course, we can go much, much more in depth, but you can see the importance that we're talking about here of understanding the order flow, understanding to rewire your brain of thinking in probabilities, to really understand the need for these plans, to understand the levels that we're going to trade, to really, really, really say to yourself, if I miss a trade, it doesn't matter. The worst thing that I can do is be FOMOing into resistance, you know, shorting at support. Number one thing that we have to think to ourselves is how do I protect my capital? The worst thing I can do as a trader is lose money. If I miss a trade, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, well, I mean, if you lose, if you miss a trade and you're in spot Bitcoin and price rises without you, you're making money anyway. Worst thing you can do is miss a short, in my opinion. Okay. And then, it, yeah, you know, make a plan, trade the plan. The only trade that I took yesterday was, was dots. Uh, one, one and only trade I took yesterday was, was dot. And that's obviously today up 15%. So uh, hit $30, managed to take profit, scope a short position. You know, we pulled back, where is it at now? We hit $30, now we're back at, you know, well, that, that obviously went a little bit lower to back test the monthly, but nevertheless, back at $28.90. Um, but then again, this is an intraday scope trade. But, um, you know, just because I missed the Bitcoin trade doesn't mean I'm just sat on my thumbs twiddling around doing nothing. No, I'm, I'm analyzing other assets to trade. Yesterday, I recognized the, you know, extremely good setup on, on DOT, took that for a swing trade, took it for an intraday trade. Today, I haven't taken a trade on Bitcoin and it's recognizing, hey, I'm interested in DOT again. Why? Because it comes up to a $30 level that I was interested in, recognizing Bitcoin and, you know, coming up to that CME gap. So, you know, it all come along together and, you know, offers me to trade on DOT rather than Bitcoin. But anyway, this is a little bit irrelevant, I suppose. Um, what I really wanted to focus on was, you know, the, the you know, so, some of the analysis here on Bitcoin of, you know, the levels that we've got to be trading from next, the, what, why it requires such patience, you know, what can we be doing while we're being patient on, for example, Bitcoin, you know, there, there's a, you know, there's 50 different altcoins now on Bybit. So, you know, <laughs> trade our, trade our life away on the altcoins. Uh, you know, there's plenty to be doing while we remain patient on Bitcoin. Okay, and I want to do two announcements here, and then I want to move on to a, a final segment, which I do think you'll find interesting. But the two announcements that I have really quickly are the first one is, wow, this is one that's gone down like absolute gold. People are absolutely loving this. But Trading Assistant now doing the um, morning update live stream as normal, which is like an hour long. And then in a special five minute update, these are different videos. This is not pulled from this, like a crazy, crazy, crazy what really amazing what could i say because we we definitely understand it is very important to get that update information easily and quickly okay so if you want the quick update there's the five minute update if you want the more in-depth update for the plan of the day then obviously there's an hour-long live stream but as you can see here i mean you can read for yourself people absolutely loving that phenomenal Great entrancement and added value, but I just need to make people aware of this because I think even members still are not even aware that this is occurring, but you need to be aware. It's inside of the trading updates. Okay, that's obviously for the contenders and the champions. Every single day, you're getting these live stream updates. you got to make use of them because they are just, oh man, like even for me, I say they are massively helpful 
massively helpful to have a great trader talk you through the charts in a condensed five minute update and then in a one hour long live stream update every day uh like yeah this is so amazing it really is amazing so yeah make use of that if you remember because it's it's a massive, that's massive, 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 massive. Okay, so please you make use of it. And the second update that I wanted to give you or announcement, I suppose, is that tomorrow, Igor is doing his uh, contenders live stream. And he's obviously going through the uh, TR template. Like, again, if we, we, we teach some basic theory and then we teach some very advanced, high, like massively advanced trading topics. And the one that Igor is going through tomorrow is massively advanced. But it is also <laughs> a very, very, very good technical tool to be using. Um, so, yeah, that's if you want to see that tomorrow. That's for the contenders in the live stream hosted by Igor. It's a very, very, very special one. And for the current members well, or new people coming in, I suppose, make sure you watch the trading assistant live streams every day. That is just located over in Discord in the trading updates. If you're struggling to get into Discord, by the way, you can email or, or direct message customer service and they'll be sure to help you out with any problems that you might have. Um, okay, now I wanted to, that was the two announcements done. I wanted to end um, actually by talking, you know, even more in depth about the psychological aspect here. And it's because today, obviously being a Tuesday, remember every Tuesday and Thursday, we put a post over on the community tab here on our YouTube channel. You can access this from your phone or, or desktop computer. But when you come over to our channel, come over to the community tab, we are obviously writing these, you know, really actually high quality um, posts for free. And uh, I'm debating, should I read all this out actually? Um, no, I think I don't think I will. I was going to read all this out, but I'm kind of debating with this. Uh, I think I might just emphasize um, this is a must read. This is absolutely free. It's a, a five minute read and it's just absolutely key that you do this. OK, we are not doing this for our benefit. We are doing this because it is absolutely needed for you to improve as a trader. Like, please, I just... Please, I just, I'm going to beg you to read it because it's free and it is just such good information. It's a good read and hopefully it connects with you to understand what you're doing wrong and the need for the plan and the need for the improvement. You know, just just do yourself a favor and, and read this, okay? There's no downsides at all. So just, just read it. I was going to read it all out for you, but um, that kind of doesn't seem like a good use of time, actually. So uh, I'm just going to refer you to the post. It's on the community tab on our, on our page. Every Tuesday and Thursday, we do a new one. The one from today is absolutely needed because it's very interlinked with what I've talked about today. You know, the emotions, why people are selling low, why they're buying high, how to overcome this and, and improve at the end of the day. Um so, yeah, I mean, of course, a very different video than normal. It, it has been a different video than normal. But um, you will have to let me know if you like this. The easiest way is leaving a comment down below. You can say, hey, Daniel, do more of this. Daniel, don't do any more of this. Or, of course, just leave a, a like. I will ask for a like on this video if you've enjoyed. That's uh, a nice way to say thank you and show you enjoy what we're doing. You can let me know down below because if you like these sort of ones, I'll do more. If you don't, then you know, I'm not going to do another one of it. So, um, yeah, for me personally, I truly, truly hope it has helped. I really hope I've managed to help you, you know, just hopefully start, you know, every time you listen, every time you watch, every time you check back in, we are rewiring your brain to think in the correct way of being a good trader. Uh, you need to lose that moon boy mindset, $100,000 Bitcoin or the perma bear, $20,000 Bitcoin. At the end of the day, I will tell you this truthfully, honestly, it doesn't matter if we go to 100K, it doesn't matter if we go to 10K. All that matters is the next level we're trading, period. Level to level, that's how you make money. Yeah, that's what we teach. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Go check out the updates that we've got on Twitter, um, on the on the Discord, everything else, I suppose. Um, yeah. I'll see you over in the Discord, I suppose, or an Eagles contenders live stream tomorrow. So thank you ever so much, everybody. And um, yeah, all I'm, I'm, just, I'm so bad at ending the videos. I would just say this. I love you all so much. I love you all. I appreciate the support. And I just truly hope that we are making a big difference to your life. So thank you ever so much. Have a good day. And uh, 
CC Paul, send their regards. Cheers. <laughs>